Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania. Uh, if I seem a little wider today, it's because I'm recording in a different location. Just, I have a couple hours between classes I'm trying to kill here. Uh, this time we're going through the third set of levels, which is where the game really starts to get difficult. Here we have the first introduction of the Flea Men, which are one of the more obnoxious Castlevania enemies. As you can see, their pattern is a little erratic. You also get the skeletons that throw bones, but never run out of bones. Uh, the song from this level is actually my favorite in the Castlevania series. And... I'll probably be playing it in this video. It's my emulator's not recording sound because I can't get stereo mix to work, which I kind of started to explain at the beginning of the last video, but never really finished explaining. But yeah, so I had to dub in the music afterward, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job with it. I mean. This is something a little new to me, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun learning these different little tricks. And it's actually all Brick Road's fault because of he posted about doing YouTube races, and I was all about that, so I kind of learned how to do all these little tricks, how to get my emulator working, and how to record and do audio commentary, because I've never done live audio commentary during a Let's Play. Most of my experience has been playing through and doing screenshot LPs. And I did do Shivers as a video LP, but that one didn't really work out, and I'm gonna die right here. <clears throat> yep. So much for the holy water. So it's been fun learning these different tricks and stuff. And I actually did participate in a race, which at the time I'm recording this is not on the YouTube yet, but I was in a Mega Man 2 race, and there's not going to be any commentary in the race, most likely, because uh, there were some people that were having issues recording their audio. So we actually got to the end of the race and then realized that Probably the most talkative person didn't have his audio, and that just made the rest of us sound weird because we were all responding to him. Which, it's the Let's Player's curse, let's just leave it at that. Wow. It's like I said, this is where the game tries to get a little bit more difficult, and this isn't the worst of it by any means. But that's okay, because it's still got a rockin' soundtrack, and I will try and have that music in the video. And there's all kinds of things that I could do with the music, with the redubbing of the music, but I think just using the original tracks is probably going to be the way to go. Unless for some reason this video runs really, really, really long, in which case... There's a million Castlevania remixes out there. Oh no. Those ravens... Probably... Well, there's a lot of annoying enemies in Castlevania. We, we've kinda... I've talked about the Fleamen. The Medusa heads are notorious. And that's okay, because every game, and every game series has to have an enemy like that. And it's funny because the Medusa heads aren't even the worst of it, because in Castlevania 3 there are the winged gargoyles that follow a similar path, but they're more erratic. And they are actually a lot harder because their pattern is erratic.
Unfortunately, these bone towers, if you can get in front of them and get a good tight rhythm down, they're not too bad. And if memory serves, this is actually where one of the more gracious bosses in the game is. Which is good, because I just lost my holy water, so I'm definitely not prepared for the later bosses. And this could make the video a lot, the series a lot longer, because I don't know that I will be able to get another holy water before the end of the next level. And there's a Dracula's Keep right there. That's another one of the areas that shows up in a lot of the games. If you have a clock, you use the clock. And there's a dagger which we will take, along with our delicious meat. And here is the, the twin mummy boss fight, which probably has an actual name that's much more badass than twin mummies, but they're not too bad, as you can see. And they did graciously give me wall chicken that stopped me from having to start this entire level over again. And then... What's this? Let's walk this way. Do, 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 do. Into the fourth set of levels. And we drop. Now, this is hell right here. And I'm down to my last life. I probably am not going to, to succeed at this. And I will point out, or not, what the hey, this is too short to call it now. Let's go ahead and start over. Oh, thank you for the invincibility bat. I'm going to show you a rather dick move on the level designer here coming up. And it's right here. Oh, good. There is holy water in this level. We may have a chance of beating the boss. But see these skulls that are the same color as the platform I'm standing on? They are not a platform. You will jump and fall right through that. Like that. Which was totally accidental, but convenient timing. So yeah, it looks like a platform. It's the same color as the platforms, because you've pretty much gotten this this uh, mindset right now. Oh my god. You've gotten this mindset that these or that orange is your platforms and blue is the background. And so then you see that group of skulls and it looks like another platform, but it just is not. And I know as a kid that messed with me to no end. And sure, you can watch the flea man jump and pick it up for yourself. But it is frustrating. Um, I do want to thank everybody that's watching. Uh, my last video was a big hit, it seems, and it was cool to get some comments on it. Uh, I'm used to my videos just kind of being for a small niche audience, because my screenshot LPs were for a rather small community, and I never really expected to get a ton of views, 
and of course I'm getting uh, some of the talking time folks watching this because of the Castlevania thing and that's really cool and I never really expected you know this channel to really be a big thing or anything but it is fun and if I die here I am screwed because goodbye I think I'm going to call this recording if I get a game over, which is very likely because look at this sh crap. And I'm sure there's some secret to dealing with this area, but fleamen and birds are just annoying. And again, if I'm too quiet, then I should be recording the next video back in my usual place. And I guess it's time to move on to the next video, so see you guys next time.